Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I want to talk to you guys about choosing your friends wisely. That, that, means, that means being careful about who you are friends with. Now, I'm not saying that you should only be nice to people who, you know, deserve it, right? You know, the Bible says that we should be friendly to everybody. We should be kind to everyone. Even people who call themselves our enemies, we should, we should show them God's love. No, I'm talking about the people that you surround yourself with, the people that you respect and trust. I heard somebody say this one time that, that if you show them your friends, they can show you your future. And that's really true. You know, the, the people that you choose to be your close friends, you're going to be like those people. They're going to affect who you are. They're going to change you. And sometimes that can be in a really good way, but a lot of times it can be in a bad way. And I think that, that we get so caught up with, like, wanting friends. We just want friends. Sometimes we might feel lonely that we think any friend will do. We just need any friends. Whoever's willing to be my friend, that's who my friends are going to be. And that can be like a bad thing. This one time I went to a church camp and I'd never been to that camp before and nobody from my church went there. And so I didn't know anybody. And I was really, you know, I was kind of lonely. And they had just given us, they had just given us some snacks. We had some oranges and we had some like juice boxes and we were supposed to, you know, go eat our oranges and juice boxes. And there were some kids that were kind of behind this corner. And I kind of thought, okay, well, maybe I'll go see if they want to be my friends. And so I went over and I, I sat down with them and they were talking and they were talking about you know, some of the movies that they liked and, and stuff like that. And, and they were talking and they were joking. And, and one of the kids, he picked up this big old rock and he picked it up over his head and then he dropped it on his orange and it splattered all over the place. And all the other boys were like, whoa, yeah. And then he did the same thing to his juice box. And at that moment, you know, it's making a big old mess and, it, and it, it's just something that I'm, I'm sure we were not supposed to be doing. At that point, I should have just been like, yeah, okay, maybe I'll find a different friend group right? But I didn't. I, I stuck around and, and it kind of, it kind of started to get out of hand. Like, like everybody started picking up the rock and smashing their stuff and it was making this huge mess all over the place. And finally I went over and I picked up the big rock and I was like, yeah, cause you know, they were all excited and they were all yelling and laughing and stuff. And I thought, okay, here I go, my turn. And just as soon as I picked up the rock, that's when the Dean of the camp showed up. And so it was my turn and I pick up the rock and I hear this loud, Hey, and yeah, the, the Dean of the camp had showed up. And where do you think my new quote unquote friends were gone? They vanished. They ran. And I'm standing there holding the rock and all the mess that everybody else is making too. And so I got in trouble and I got this whole long lecture about littering and, and wasting good food. And, and this whole it was this whole big thing on the first day of camp. And it wasn't like my idea to start making this mess, but, but because everybody else was doing it, I kind of just went along with it. And that's how... That's how things go, right? You know, we should, always, we should always be looking to God for what's right and what's wrong. But, but we oftentimes, even as Christians, we end up like kind of going with the flow, right? Like, like whatever our friends are doing, that's what we're going to do too. And that's why it's so, so important to choose good, godly friends. And I know it can be hard, especially if you're in a new place to, to have that feeling of like, you know, I just need some friends. And so you just like latch on to whatever group is nearby. Like I did, you know, they, they were just, these were just the first kids that I saw. And so I went over and I hung out with them. But as soon as I saw that they were doing something they shouldn't have been doing, I should have moved on and found a new group of friends. Because in no time flat, I was doing something that I would not have done on my own, something bad, just so that I could impress these people that I didn't even really know. Now imagine if you're like locked into this friend group. You, you start hanging out with some friends and, and if I had stayed with those guys and they, they didn't run away because the dean showed up and, and I was with them all through camp, we might have done some even worse stuff. Now I didn't hang out with those guys very much because well, the dean showed up and they scattered and, and, and I found other friends to hang out with and those were good friends. Those were friends that, that helped me to be a better me, not a worse me. And those friends have helped me to draw closer and closer to God. I still keep in contact with a lot of my new good friends that I made at camp. And sometimes I'll find a Bible verse and I'll send it to them and I'll say, hey, have you read this Bible verse? What do you think about this? Or if I'm having a hard time, I can reach out to them and they can, they can encourage me and help me feel better. Our friends, for, for better or worse, they, they kind of rub off on you, you know what I mean? You start to become more and more like them. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would choose your friends wisely. 
Don't fall into the trap of feeling like, well, I don't have friends and so I need friends and so I'll get any friends. That's not good. The Bible is filled with instructions about, about not surrounding yourself with people who are doing wrong because, because that is contagious. We should surround ourselves with people who are doing good, doing what's right, because that's contagious too. Who you choose as your friends, it matters a lot. And that's why we should choose our friends wisely. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. And hey, you know something that I hadn't even thought about, about this idea of choosing our friends wisely, is how important it is to choose your YouTube channels wisely, right? Like, I, I, really, want, I really want my channel to be a channel where you can come and you can learn about God. Like, I, I share the stuff that I'm learning from my own life so that, so that I, can, I can share that with you. I think that's a really important thing. And there are lots of other really good channels out there that are encouraging Christian channels. But, man, there's a lot of weird stuff on YouTube. But, like, the YouTubers that we really like, they kind of become, like, our friends, right? Like, you and I are kind of like friends, which I think is super cool about, about this, you know, the, the day and age that we live in. But you got to be careful. So I really hope that whether it's on YouTube or, or any other kind of social media, that you will find people who uplift you and not bring you down. And by bring you down, I don't mean, like, make you sad. I mean bring you down, like... Like, make you comfortable with things that you shouldn't be comfortable with. Make you laugh at things that you shouldn't be laughing at. And again, as always, if you're a kid and you're watching this video, it's so important that you always get your parents' permission before you do anything online. Even if that's watching my stuff or other Christian YouTubers, always make sure that your parents know what you're doing online because they can absolutely help you make the right decisions and stay safe online. And I'm so blessed to have you here on my channel. I hope that my videos are are encouraging to you and that they, they help they help point you closer and closer to God. Because I think that's really important. Choose your friends and your favorite content creators wisely.